Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am so excited you're here with me today. We are going to make the cutest little buckle card. I can't wait to show you how to make it. Before we get started, I just want to show you this is the 31 Days of Creative Inspiration content calendar that I use for my YouTube lives and my Saturday posts. So if you're curious on how to make any of these, they will, you'll see them on those video days. Um, if you want this calendar for free, I will be emailing out June's calendar this week. So you wanna make sure that you get on the list to get this free. There is a link in the description below this video. Click that where it says, get my emails and it will take you to get my emails and you will be able to um, get this for free for the month of June. Okay, I also have the two fun offers going on right now with Stampin' Up. One is from me. When you place a $40 online order or more by May 27th, you will receive the goodie bag uh, with some fun in color products in it from me. And if you purchase the starter kit by May 31st for $99 plus tax, the shipping is free on the kit, you will receive all the new in-color ink pads, in-color cardstock, in-color designer paper, and the beautiful in-color grid paper completely free with the kit. This is in addition to the $125 in product that you get to pick out. So it's a really amazing deal. I highly recommend jumping on this deal if you wanna get discounts on your orders and you wanna get all that product for free. It's a really great deal. Okay, let's get going, shall we? We're gonna make our card today. I'm grab all my goodies here. We are going to be using the A Little Cheesy stamp set. Now, what I want to do is tell you, there is, hold on one second, let me, add, let me grab my laptop. There is going to be a link in the description below this video to my virtual paper party. Now this is only $39 and you'll receive a special virtual paper party retreat bag along with an enamel pin when you sign up for this um, event. And really quick here, let me just add the link. And you get access to the PDF, uh, all the PDFs, the videos, the guest speakers uh, or uh, presenters, everything there is to get for my paper party, you will get access to. So I highly recommend purchasing that for $39. The price will go up after June, I think it's June 15th, the price will increase. So you definitely want to take advantage and get it for $39. It's an all access pass and there's gonna be tons of giveaways. We're doing a really fun giveaways for this event. So it's definitely something you're going to want to hop on. I'm gonna add the link to it right here. Virtual paper party. Okay, so the link for that's below. So the card we're making today is actually one of the cards from the add-on classes for the paper party. So it's kind of a sneak peek. This is the card we're gonna make. It pulls out like this and opens like this. Isn't that cute? So we're gonna make this card together today. And there is a free project sheet for just this card, but this is uh, just an example of what will be in the paper party. One of the um, classes is four cards using this stamp set. So you are not gonna wanna miss out. It's super cute. I have it designed, you'll love it. Okay, so to make this card, we have a piece of four and a quarter by eight and a half inch starry sky, or excuse me, eight and five eighths inch Starry Sky cardstock. We are going to score this cardstock at three and an eighth. Okay. Then we're going to fold this over, burnish the edge, 
and we're gonna add this piece of designer series paper. This is from the Butterfly Kisses designer series paper pack. And I really love the pattern on this side. So we're just gonna center that and add it here. Now, we need to cut a little slit in this piece of cardstock. So what we're gonna do, you wanna make sure you put your designer paper on first, then we'll cut. We're going to use the little sentiment die cut from the sending dies. These are called sending dies and they go with the sending smiles stamp set. So let me grab my big shot or my stamp and cut. I have to use the big one for this because, so I'm gonna open it up and lay it flat. And I like to have my cardstock all the way on the platform because if it's off like this, sometimes that plate will make a little line, okay? We don't want that. So I'm gonna line this up nice and straight onto my card base. and then cover it, and then we'll run it through. I don't know about you guys, but it is getting toasty, toasty hot where I live, and I am here for it. I love the warm weather. It's supposed to be in the 90s today, possibly 100 tomorrow. Um, when it hits 100 is where I start getting a little, eh, I could live without that. But 90s, I'm here for it. I love it. Okay, so now we've got our little slit here in our card base. And the rest is so simple, you guys. It's just assembling. So I've got a piece of four by five and a quarter card uh, designer paper, just a different pattern. And we're gonna layer that down. And then we've got a piece of two and seven eighths by three and three quarters crushed curry cardstock. And you don't need to worry about writing these measurements down. In the link, in the description below the video, there is a link that says measurements and supplies. If you go to that link, it'll take you to my website and there you will be able to print off the free project sheet for this card, okay? And then we've got this piece of cardstock cut at two and a half by seven and I scored it at three and a half. So we're gonna fold here. Denise says it's only 57 degrees where she lives. Well, I'm here to tell you sister, it is roasty toasty here. Okay, so I've got my Starry Sky ink and my sentiment that says, thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> Everybody loves a good pun. Cute. Okay, you wanna stamp that before you assemble, okay? So I'm gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna add adhesive to the back of it. And this is gonna fold in the opposite direction of the regular fold, right? Because we're gonna tuck it into the inside. And then you're just gonna center it on the crushed curry. And then there you go. You have your little, your little tuck in, okay? Now all we need to do is add our cute little pudding. And I thought you guys might enjoy seeing me color that. So instead of coloring it ahead of time and fussy cutting it out, I thought I would do it while I was on screen with you. So we've got our little pudding bowl here. Okay, now we're gonna color. Now, my Stampin' Blends, you'll notice, are all labeled with this cute little label here at the bot at the end of one cap. These labels are for sale 
in PDF format on my blog. They're $7.95. They're updated with all the new in colors and the naturals. So everything you need is there, $7.95. People have asked me if they've already purchased those, would they be able to just purchase the newer in colors? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, I did not, I don't have just an update. I just did a whole brand new fresh and updated because there were lots of new markers to include. So you can purchase it again. It's $7.95. The link is below the video. And just remember when you purchase stuff like that, it really is helping me be able to continue doing what I'm doing. So um, I know it's a little chunk of change, but it is definitely one of those things where once you have it, you can print it as many times as you need to and you're good to go. So we've got dark and light starry sky and we're going to start on the outside with the dark and I just want my edges to be nice and dark, okay? And I'm kind of going every other one, as you can see. And then we'll move to the light, starry. And then we're just gonna leave a little gap in the center. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And I know at first it's like, oh, that looks weird. You know, it's not colored there and that looks really strange. But as you see this come together, you will see it actually looks really good. So now we've got dark so saffron and I would have used um, Daffodil Delight if I'm being honest, but I, I need to order a new marker. Um, my Daffodil Delight is kaput. So we're just gonna use so saffron instead. So now I'm using the light and I'm just blending that out. And again, keeping the center white. Okay, this is going to give dimension to that bowl. You can see already how it looks like it's reflecting, which gives it the appearance of being round. Now, if you want to even go a little darker on the edges, just take your marker, your dark marker, and go over again, and you'll be layering that color. Now for, am I missing a marker? I am, hold on one second. For the pudding, of course, I wanted chocolate pudding because really, come on, is there a better kind? So for the pudding, I used the SU200 and SU100 markers, okay? So these are the natural tones, but they certainly can be used for things other than um, skin tone, okay? So I'm going all around the edges here and making it nice and dark. And then I'm gonna come in with the SU200, yeah, and I'm gonna fill that in in the areas that I left open. And there's still just not quite enough contrast there for me, so I'm gonna come back in with my darker SU100 and add more shadow, okay? And then that's just going to give me enough of a contrast that I'm happy with. Then for the spoon, we're going to use Smoky Slate. Now, I prefer when I'm coloring an inanimate object, like a spoon, if I want it to look silver, I prefer using Smoky Slate. It's a cooler gray. And for a warmer gray, I like to use gray granite. And again, I'm leaving that white, little bit of white there. And then I'm gonna come in with this light smoky slate and also give my whipped cream some shadow, okay? So the areas that would kind of have a little bit of a shadow. And I'm actually even gonna go in with my dark smoky and add a little, even like closer to the edge. If that makes sense. Okay, now we're gonna fussy cut it. And then I have one more trick to show you. All right, so 
let's talk while I'm fussy cutting here. I wanna just mention one more time, the paper party retreat that's coming up is in June. It's on June 24th and 25th, that's the live events. They will be exclusive in a Facebook group, so you only have access if you purchase the $39 access ticket or if you've already purchased the kit. The kits are gone, there's no more kits available, but you can get virtual access for just $39 and there is a link below this video to do that. Now, you might be thinking like, well, what, what does that include? Okay, that includes access to the giveaways, access to the event. I will be sending you a bag, a tote bag, along with an exclusive enamel pin for this event. And I will also um, be giving you the PDFs, access to all the videos, along with the live event. So you basically get everything that, that everyone else gets, except you don't get any of the products in the mail, right? You don't get any of the kits. So um, if you want to spend a couple days with me in June, hanging out and crafting and my guest stampers, then purchase it. If you can't be there live because you have other obligations, that's okay. It's all going to be recorded and provided to you via a link where you can access it anytime. Okay. So you don't have to worry about being there during the event, but it's going to be super fun. I've never had a single person complain about my paper party. I've never had anybody who hasn't loved it. And most people who take advantage of it come back again and again. So this is a regular black stamp and write markers it's basic black and what i like to do is take and go around the edge when i cut close to the edge to get rid of that white edging i don't like that white edging so i just take this and run it around now you might be thinking well why don't you just use that black stamp and blends because the stamp and blend markers will bleed into your cardstock and you don't want that. So this won't do that. So you're just gonna use this to go around the edge and get that nice black finish on the edge. And that's it. So now we're going to add our pudding cup to our card. You wanna make sure that your buckle is tucked in when you do this, because if you were to add your pudding cup too far, your buckle won't tuck, right? And you don't want that to happen. So we're going to add a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals. And then add this down like that. And voila, we're done. Isn't that cute? Now for some added ideas, you could add a gift card in here. You could add some money. You could make a little pocket and just do anything you want inside. Um, and then that's how it tucks and folds and is finished just like that. Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love it. Okay, let me check our comment section because I like to be able to chat with you guys. So I'm going to check and see what we got going on here. All right, we got Minnesota in the house, Arizona, Wisconsin. Central Texas, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Southern Oregon, Ohio, Indiana, California, Sixty-seven in Southern California. Whoa, what's happening? Because it's way hotter up here. Wisconsin, fifty-nine and rainy. Fifty-four and rainy in Denmark. Yay for coloring! Oh gosh, this card is cute. Wendy's paper parties are awesome. Thank you. Hello, Miss Deborah. Hello from Oregon. Hey, Tiffany. Helen, Rosie, Linda, Kathy, Cynthia, Elaine, Judy, Cindy, Denise, Deborah, Mitzi, Heather, Jean, K, 
Kathy again, Bettina, so good to see all you Beverly's here, Bev, Victoria, Marilyn. Thank you all for joining in and hanging out with me today. All right. I don't really have anything else to show you. I really wanted to make another version of this card using totally different products, but I just didn't have the time. If you watched my Saturday story time video, you know why. <laughs> I just don't have a lot of extra time right now. So I'm hoping um, in the next month or so, I'll have more time to create multiple projects when we um, are creating together. But for today, I had the one. I do have that free project sheet. It's in the description below this video. So just go to the description below the video, click under measurements and supplies. The link is there. The link is in the description below the video to purchase the starter kit and join my lovely stampers community. There is a link below the video for the $39 virtual paper party access. You can get that. That price will only be that price until June 15th, and then it's going to go up. So um, if you want that, you want to grab that by June 15th. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little bit today. I know this was kind of a short uh, live in comparison to our normal ones, but I always have a good time. And I love this card. I think it's so stinking cute. And if you've already purchased the paper party and you're getting the kits and you're getting the a little cheesy add-on class, this is one of your cards. So you got a little extra goodie. We're going to be doing something really exciting in the month of June on my YouTube lives. So the hint I'm going to give you is make sure you're subscribed to my, my channel. Don't just come and hang out. Make sure you actually hit that subscribe button, okay? Because you're going to want to be subscribed come June. I promise you. So that's something to look forward to. All right. I'm going to talk to you guys later. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. Bye-bye.